Hello friends, I'm Muskan. I hope you all are doing well. So today we will learn about React Native SVG, how we can use SVG images in our project and how we can uh, show SVG in any React Native application. So I found 190% searches on Google Trends. So I'm here with another video on React Native SVG. So we will cover how we can use SVG in our project today. So for SVG images, uh, first we need to install uh, the React Native SVG package. Uh, if you are using NPM, then you can install simply from NPM install React Native SVG. And with yarn, uh, you, you have to add yarn add React Native SVG. React Native SVG provides SVG support to React Native on iOS, on Android, on macOS, Windows and a compatibility layer for the web also. We will see the usage of SVG in project also but you can see here some glimpse of the uses how we will use SVG in uh, React Native components. For this you just have to import a React Native SVG in your component and um, you can simply use as a component and uh, you can also add width and height in your SVG image. So this is very easy to use. Let's understand this with code. So here in app.js, first I am gonna import svg example.js. I have already created this file. So I will import this file. And now in svg example.js, we will create a React Native component. And in this component, we will gonna use svg image. So for svg image, first we have to install React Native svg package. So I'm going to open the Chrome and then we will search for React Native svg package. So here we have the installation command so I'll copy this and paste it here and I'm gonna install 10 pm now it's installed uh, now we will go to the github repo of this package and we'll see the installation process what we have to do we have installed library with npm already and uh, now we will see the uses of uh, react native svg so we will go here with this link and um, i will gonna use the svg file so for this we have to create this metro.config.js file if you have already this file in your project you don't have to create this you just have to copy this code and update in your file so in my case i have this file so i'm just gonna remove this code and paste it here and save it and i think you have to reinstall application after adding all of this uh, here you can see we are using react native svg transformer so we have to install this also with npm and after install everything you have to just reinstall application with react hyphen native then hyphen android with this command so i'm gonna install it again yeah so it's installed i already imported one photo named logo.svg you have to add logo.svg in your asset folder like i added in src assets images and logo.svg this is svg code so you can pick any image from the internet and you can put it in your image folder then we will just import the logo.svg image from asset and then we can directly use logo as a component because this is svg 
when we import any component and um, so that we will use that component like this so uh, in case of logo we can also use uh, as a component so i'm gonna save this also i'm gonna save this app dodges can you see the image you can see the logo image here now what i'm gonna do is i will add width and height for this image and you can see change its uh, height and width also i will add some style on this so for this i will add a view here and uh, after view i will add container and for styles i have to import style sheet so i have added it i have created container style and i will add flex one align item center and justify content center so it will be in center so this is very easy you can use svg like this you just have to do one configuration in metro.config.js and you have to install two package one is uh, react native svg another one is react native svg transform i wonder sometime uh, some developers not able to use svg they found that it is difficult but it is that easy you can watch this video and just use svg in your project thanks for watching if you like my work please do like share and subscribe